Here, the first wave of ballot papers for the Labour leadership were being sent out today as the contender Andy Burnham told the BBC that fellow candidate Jeremy Corbyn's plans lack credibility. And two of the other candidates suggested voters in the contest use their votes to exclude Mr Corbyn. Our political correspondent Ross Hawkins is in Westminster. That only works, of course, if he doesn't get an outright victory on the first ballot. And it goes to show just how central he's come to the whole campaign. It's a real uh, quandary with someone as apparently popular as Jeremy Corbyn in a contest like this for the other candidates. If they attack him, they risk losing popularity. If they don't do that, they could just let him win. So perhaps it was surprising that when I pressed Andy Burnham on exactly this issue earlier today, he went on the attack. As the ballots go out for some a single question, how can you stop Jeremy Corbyn? Andy Burnham's opponents have accused him of shying away from criticising the left winger. But have a listen to his words today. I'm saying that Jeremy's plans lack credibility. It's not possible to promise free university education, renationalising the uh, utilities without that coming at a great cost. And if you can't explain how that is going to be paid for, then I don't think we'll win back the trust of voters on the economy. After another contender, Yvette Cooper said Jeremy Corbyn lacked credibility yesterday. Andy Burnham said Corbyn's critics had misread the mood of the party. His team say he's been consistent. He has questioned Jeremy Corbyn's credibility and how his policies would be paid for before. His critics, though, suggest today's very clear words show his message is changing. Two of the candidates, this Kendall and Yvette Cooper, both argued that people should use their votes to choose anyone but Jeremy Corbyn to try to make sure that he doesn't win. Under Labour's rules, voters get to choose their first choice candidate, then their second choice, and so on. The pair both want voters to pick three candidates and exclude Jeremy Corbyn. It's important that Labour Party members use their second and third preferences, uh, and I'm urging them to back either Andy Burnham or Yvette Cooper. I think it's right for people to use all of their preferences, but I'm also fighting for everybody's first preferences. I want people to vote for me, for the radical ideas we've got for the future, but also be strong enough to take the Tories on. All the while, he's planning a speech about policy, opposing austerity, spending more money. The outsider who so worries the other candidates. Now, Andy Burnham says he's the only candidate who can beat Jeremy Corbyn, although the internal data his campaign has suggests even that could take three rounds of the counting process under that complicated election. And it is perhaps a testament to the performance of Jeremy Corbyn in this campaign that a man who just a few weeks ago was at the very fringes of the mainstream of the Labour Party is now regarded in such a way that it's a profoundly sensitive thing to do to even criticise him at all. Tool. Thank you very much. Ross Hawkins there. A trader accused of contributing to the stock market flash crash in 2010 